We'll get these ladies squared up if you're hungry. These have been on the go for absolutely donkey. They've had repairs, there's a brace been welded in there. We've extended them. We're missing spikes, we need to put new spikes on them. The ram shears, the pins every so often. They're old as anything and they still do a really good job. Uh, I've just mangled that. Coming through here, I didn't shut it properly. It swung, caught the edge of that gate, damn it. And I've obviously bent these hinges a wee bit because it doesn't shut fully. Ah, oh, god damn it. Uh, you'll never guess what day it is. It's Monday. Oh, you burned it. It was through that doorway. It was about half an hour ago, so it was a lot darker. I caught it on that, that gate there. Flipping heck. It's a bit of feeding for these calves and they're just needing bedded as well, so I've got a bale here for bedding. Happy Cavies. Cold morning. Right, we're off to yard one. The crops are looking absolutely top dollar. Because it's been so mild, they've just kicked on a lot. I mean, they're probably a lot of them are lacking nutrition now because they've kicked on a lot more than usual. And any fur we've put on them has been used up for that growth. And now they're kind of still growing, but there's a lack of nutrients available to them. Now it's cooling down, soil temperatures will drop pretty rapidly this week and that'll stop and um, they'll stop growing so they won't need that nutrition. We're just sorting out another pile of trees this morning. That's weird. I think that's where the pigeons have been sitting this morning. I'm not sure. Anyway, Kev's been chopping up wood here and there's a load of shrapnel to load into that trailer. So we'll get that loaded and there's a few more logs to cut. Hopefully get all of this in the trailer. We're getting there. We've not got too much left. We've already had a couple loads along the road. Oh, the gutters. Again, this used to be nice grass like that. We've got a goose tyre, which is also uh, pretty slick as well. We're not zooming too far. Oh, it's tubed as well, so it's already knackered. Anyway, we need to see which ones. That one's fine in the front. This one's goose. That one's pretty slick, and that one's all right. Right, so the back two need changed. This one had a big bulge, not sure where, but Dad managed to nurse it home, but a big bulge, and then the air went out of it, and now it's fried. Classic, give it a kick. Yeah, it's good. Right, that's then both off. Need a wee bit of a wire brush, but Dad gives them a phone and they should have tyres by tomorrow, so we'll get both of them changed. We've got a decent wee pile um, stacked up from all what was lying here. Kev's just limbing the last of the bits. And then we'll get the last of the shrapnel chucked into that trailer. logs to cut and split. These are all fairly wet so we're not going to cut these this winter. We'll leave them to dry. We'll maybe cut them up with a chainsaw. We'll not split them though. Cut them up with a chainsaw they'll have a better chance of drying. Anyway they're getting dumped there for now. 
It's just running over this with the bottom of the bucket to try and level it off a bit. So when it dries up, come next year, it won't be all rutty. Flat as a pancake. <laughs> right, this shed, that side of it, we cleared this side. Well, it doesn't look very clear, does it? We cleared this side of it a couple of months ago. That side's now getting dealt with. There's a couple of pigsties in there. Pull them out, they're going to be for sale. Once we've got them out and washed them, I'll show you them. This is a pile of sawdust, there's only a couple of bucketfuls, but I did consider putting it through the wood chip boiler. It would probably be all right through the boiler if we were producing a bucket or two every week. Yes, but for the sake of two bucketfuls for the year to screw up the boiler, yeah, it's not worth it. The amount of times we've shifted these boxes, they're egg boxes, by the way. We've got loads of them because during COVID, really hard to get them so we ordered from two different suppliers they all came at once right next i need a chain right we're gonna see if this first spreader is gonna budge i don't know why but the fact that it's really old i just didn't even consider putting the hitch on but we should be able to get it on the hitch of the forklift here worked a treat some piece of kit, get that on the back of the fence. Anyway, that is for sale. No idea what it's worth, no idea if it's worth anything. Just spoken to Dad and he's for keeping that old fur spreader. I said, when did it last move? My uncle bought it recently and that recently we figured out maybe 10 years ago. And it's probably not been used for 10, 15 years before that. So we've not used it for 20, 25 years. But he's still for keeping it. But that's not like Dad, Dad's pretty good at that, just get rid of it. But it's for sale, it's for sale, I'm telling you. If anyone wants to buy it, it is for sale. An old conveyor, anyone want it? For sale. We've got, still got the motor, and the actual chain that was in it, there's still half of it left where we took it out of, and it's got all the chain for it. So if you're interested in a conveyor, let us know. Pigsty number one. Actually, this might be more of a hen shed. Um, it's got a, a, door, a flap door on the front. I'll do my sales pitch once it's clean. Pigsty number two, this is definitely a pigsty. Big opening. I think we've had geese in this one before though. One year of geese was enough years of geese. These are Solway, so it's recycled plastic that make up the pigsty, so they are pretty bomb proof. This one's double the size of the other two and it's got two hooking on eyes, so we'll use them. These two are red, that one's a green one. Kev's gonna go and give them a, bl a blast with a washer. And we'd see a man about a dog, and by the time I'm back, it's probably gonna be dark, so. I'll show you them in the morning, how they've cleaned up. Anyway, anyone who's interested, there's my email down there, let me know.